So if you've been in the gaming community for a while now, and especially if you've been in the Nintendo community, you will know that video game developers, at times, tend to do a lot of scummy things. They don't seem to fully comprehend the idea that people online talking about their game, putting out content regarding their game, uh, putting up music and playing their old games that they don't even produce anymore, does more to benefit the company, does more to benefit their sales numbers, and does more to benefit their overall relevancy within the industry than anything that they could put out would ever do. Now, I didn't know I was going to talk about this a couple weeks ago when we first started seeing some more crappy things from Nintendo. By the way, everybody, it's December. Happy holidays. Nintendo hates all of you. Uh, but I decided in this return, let's criticize Nintendo because that always does so well on YouTube and always does so well on the Internet. Now, Last week at the Game Awards, Nintendo announced a brand new fighter, which you saw in the beginning of this video, Sephiroth. I don't even know if that's pronouncing it right. I've never played Final Fantasy, but the reactions were great. And what it showed me is that people have an undying love for Nintendo, for their IPs, and for their characters. It's something that I believe Nintendo has over any other company. Their IPs are incredibly just... They're... Everybody knows them. They are ingrained within pop culture. With that, you would think comes a lot of responsibility to represent these characters well, to represent what their games are about, and to put an image out there to the general public that these are good characters for people of all ages to, to love and enjoy. That's what Nintendo tries to do. The problem is Nintendo takes that a step too far. Nintendo is mercilessly has a merciless reputation for taking down user-created content and user-uploaded content that has any connection to their video games. Now, we saw this a couple weeks ago. There was a Smash Melee tournament. They were using a modded version of the game, even though it wasn't technically illegal what they were doing, uh, to do internet multiplayer of the game, to show replays of the game, all of that stuff, because the tournament had to be held virtually because we're dealing with a pandemic. Nintendo shot them a cease and desist order, told them they could not have this tournament, so the tournament is no longer happening. Smash Brothers Melee is a game that Nintendo no longer sells. If you buy Melee today, if you play Melee today, you're either running it on an emulator or you've bought it from a third party. Nintendo's not making any money from this, but you can't play with any modified version of this game because you physically should not be playing in a big crowd right now. God forbid you do that. God forbid you give Melee, one of Nintendo's most popular fighting games of all time, any more exposure than it already has for a game Nintendo's not selling anymore. Additionally, they decided to strike down a person who was selling Etika-themed Joy-Cons, modified Joy-Cons, and donating all of the funds from those Joy-Cons to charity. Now, if you don't know, Etika was a YouTuber. He unfortunately passed away a couple years ago, committed suicide. It was a very... A very big moment for the Nintendo and the gaming community in mourning him. And these Joy-Cons were designed to represent what he would talk about in his streams and was a memorial to him. Nintendo told that person, you cannot modify these Joy-Cons in the way you are. You need to stop selling them, at least until you make these modifications. It's Nintendo's intellectual property. It's Nintendo's hardware. I understand this. But this is not getting into, this is not harming their sales. This is not harming their brand. This is doing nothing to negatively impact Nintendo. If anything, the selling of these Joy-Cons in memory of someone who was incredibly beloved in their community does more to show how Nintendo brings people together. But we're just going to crap all over that because God forbid we show any kind of love for our community. On top of all of this, <laughs> on top of the Melee tournaments, on top of the Joy-Cons, Nintendo is famous. This happens a couple times every few years for, sh for shutting down channels and pages and websites that show off their music, their soundtracks to their games. If you go on YouTube, it's no secret. I use the music in my videos from time to time. You can find 
all of Nintendo's library of music through various different YouTube channels, which re-uploads the tracks so you can listen to. Why is this such a popular thing? Well, because YouTube's very easy to go on and access content. But on top of that, Nintendo outright refuses to put any of their music up from any of their classic libraries of games. They just don't put this content up. They refuse. God forbid we sell you our old games. We just strike it down when you play them without us being them being sold to you. And we don't let you listen to our music because God forbid we make you pay for it, which everybody would do. They just don't do it. So Nintendo might say, oh, we're going to take down this music from this YouTube channel that's incredibly popular, has a lot of our tracks on it, doesn't monetize it, doesn't make any money from it. We're going to strike this down and we're not going to sell you the music on our own, even though you'd buy it, because why would we do that? We need to protect our intellectual property. Your intellectual property is not at threat. <laughs> Letting fans of these video games, whether it's the Mario franchise, the Pokemon franchise, Zelda, Splatoon, some of their older series that they don't produce anymore, GameCube classics, N64 classics, NES classics, SNES classics. We might not sell you this music. We might not make this music available to you in any way. We might not sell these games to you in any form anymore. But God forbid we see someone uploading this content onto YouTube. Someone pointed this out recently, and I really, I, this is a very ranty video. I do apologize. EA gets a lot of shit in the gaming community because EA has terrible user policies. They hate their players. <laughs> they really do. On top of just packaging the same sports games to them every year and charging $70 nowadays. That's on the new consoles, by the way. They don't care about their IPs, they don't care about their players, they don't care about people who make content for it. Nintendo only gets a pass because of how iconic, I mean, this I mentioned this before, because of how iconic their franchises are, how loved their franchises are. Nintendo loves their franchises. Nintendo loves to put out new games from their franchises, except for, you know, Metroid, because we hate Metroid. Metroid Prime 4, where are you? But we hate the people who play these games. We hate that people build up communities with these games. We're going to strike anything down that you put onto social media, that you put onto YouTube, that might even slightly threaten our legal rights to this product. And listen, throughout this video, I've mentioned a couple times that Nintendo is well within their rights to do a lot of this. Now, it's a little murky with the Joy-Cons because they weren't modifying them per se. It's complicated. But Nintendo is well within their right to claim this content, to tell people not to play modified versions. They're well within their legal right. I'm not saying that what they're doing is against the law. I'm not saying that at all. All I'm saying is there's a standard that this company needs to understand in that the legal action that they're taking directly harms them, makes their reputation look worse, and makes more people upset with the company than, than what I assume they somehow think will end up happening, which is that it'll protect their content and it'll mean that more people buy their games. I mentioned before that they shut down Melee, and I want to go back to this near the end of this little rant for a moment. They don't sell this game anymore. You cannot purchase this game directly from Nintendo. You cannot purchase this game virtually on a virtual console, for example, from Nintendo. There's so much legacy content that Nintendo has in its backlog that they shut down when people try to play it through other means. And yet they don't choose to sell us this content. Nintendo, I'm the first to say it. Other people have said it. We will gladly repurchase all of your popular legacy titles. All your Marios, your Pokemons, your Zeldas. You put all of that up on a virtual console. You even sell all of that directly on the eShop. You will make all of it. You'll make all that money again. People will buy it. People, sure, everyone's going to play it on an emulator from time to time, even if you sell it. But you're still going to make money because people feel the need to own your software on your hardware. And yet you just time and time again outright refuse to give the fans what they want. Give them the bare minimum. Look at the Mario uh, collection this year. <laughs> It's just, it's genuinely, it, it irks me so much. It does. And listen, it's the holidays. We're supposed to be festive. We're supposed to be cheerful. I'm the first to say I love Nintendo. I grew up with the Nintendo. I grew up with the Wii and the GameCube. I had the Wii U. Didn't play it that much, but I had that too. I love my Switch. I have a whole shelf of Switch games. 
I got Breath of the Wild a week after the Switch came out. I got the Switch a week after the Switch came out, as soon as one was available to me. I love Nintendo. I'll be getting Nintendo games for Christmas. <laughs> My friends love Nintendo. I love games from other other companies and I love some Xbox games and some PlayStation games, but Nintendo's my place. And I will always like Nintendo. I'll always buy Nintendo. As so many people do because it was their childhood. It's what they grew up with. When they think of video games, a lot of people just think Nintendo or PlayStation if you grew up in the early 2000s. This is the world we live in and Nintendo actively hates their fans. I know that there's been some pushback from some people who outwardly support Nintendo saying it's well within their right to do so. I understand that. But I think we can all acknowledge that what Nintendo is doing is really, it's anti-consumer, it's anti-community, and it just it makes it feel like Nintendo has a lot of disdain for their community, or at least they're very out of touch. With that being said, I would love to know what you all think about this. Do you think Nintendo is right in what they're doing? Do you think it's a little more gray than the black and white way that I'm at least trying to present it? Do you think that Nintendo gets too much hate? Do you think they don't get enough hate? I would love to know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you want to let me know on Twitter, I'm also very active on there. You can follow me at LinkyYT. The link to all my socials is in the description down below. With that being said, that's been the video. Hope you all enjoyed this little ranty video. I really, I wanted to make it close to Christmas because I thought it'd be very fitting for this time of year, obviously. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, we're going to be doing a lot more Nintendo content, even though they stink right now. We're going to be doing a lot of Minecraft, Pokemon. It's going to be a good time. Hope you all enjoyed the video today, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.